Okay. So um, today I want to uh, lead you, Shayla, and with your audience when they're listening or uh, watching later. Um, I was fortunate enough to spend four days with Greg Braden in Vernon. Um, and right the next weekend after I was with Joe Dispenza. So, I mean, I was just very, very full. And Greg Braden has worked closely with HeartMath. And um, HeartMath has done a study and it's scientifically proven that we have a brain here, but our heart also has a brain. So our heart stores memories and stores experiences um, separate from the brain and so it's got it's got information going on and um and our brain has information going on so they've developed um a very simple technique that is called heart brain coherence or it's also called heart brain harmony and what it's doing is it's aligning um head and heart right so we always talk about head, heart, spirit, alignment, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's really um, bringing it forward so that we can practice it. So this is something I practice when I lay down in bed to go to sleep. It's something I do as soon as I open my, well, I try to, if I open my eyes, I close them again and then do this. Um, and it's something that only has to take three minutes, um, mm -hmm. three minutes plus. And I'm going to explain everything that's going to happen so that your audience can be kind of ready and you can be ready to um, enjoy this yourself. So great. what I'm going to be inviting your audience to do is we're going to draw attention to the heart. We're going to draw attention to the breath. We're going to slow down the breathing because that engages the parasympathetic nervous system. And then we're going to create an elevated emotion and there's four emotions that work pretty much a hundred percent of the time when they're testing people doing this and so those emotions are there's appreciation mm -hmm. there's gratitude there's caring and there's compassion mm -hmm. now people can then add whatever emotion onto this process um, later but when I'm teaching it today, we'll all be using those four emotions. So they, I will invite you to make a choice about which emotion you wanna bring in. So let's say it's gratitude. So you will be inviting in gratitude by having um, gratitude for somebody, something for yourself, for anything at all. So you have a thought about whatever the gratitude is about and then we're going to take the thought and we're going to put it into our body and we're going to allow our heart to create an elevated emotion in our body so it's not oh i feel a lot of gratitude it's we're going to go to the body and it's kind of like oh when i'm feeling gratitude in my body this is what happens like this is the sensory whatever thing that happens mm -hmm. and so by doing that um, heart brain harmony, what happens is our intuition is better, our health is better, our nervous system is better, all kinds of things um, improve. And, um, and so it's this amazing thing. So we'll do that and I'll be reminding people throughout um, to stay with the feeling because it's the elevated feeling emotion that's in your body that's really important for your brain to understand. Okay. And then um, at the end, I will do that question that I talked about, my heart, my heart, what do I need to know about being more self-nurturing? It'll be a question like that. And then I'll be really quiet and you'll have some time to listen to your heart. And like I said earlier, there may not be an answer today, but if you keep practicing it, there will be. Right. Okay. okay. So do you have any questions about the uh, process? Just sitting, sitting here is okay. Um, yeah. Can people do it in different uh, postures or what do you recommend? So um, I recommend not driving a car. <laughs> so, <laughs> other, than, other than that, um, I do it when I wake up in the morning. I do it when I'm going to bed at night. So I'm, I'm often laying down 
if okay. something happens during the day and I'm wired up or I'm, I've got something going on, I will stop and I will just sit and I will just do it. Um, because apparently you only have to do it for three or four minutes and it can last for hours because you reconnected everything. Right. Um, so no posture, no, nothing special. It's all about breathing and it's all about emotion. Right. And, and you can do it any time um, that you want. I do it during the day sometimes. Just I'll just take a quick pause and just connect. And it's a way to connect with yourself. It can be any time, anywhere. That sounds lovely. Yeah. Any yeah. Other, yeah. Any other questions? No, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a, it's a tool that you take with you everywhere you go. And people don't even have to know you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. So let's take a nice big breath. And I invite you to close your eyes and I'm closing mine. And we're taking, we're shutting out the visuals and we're bringing our attention from our mind and anything else that's been going on. And we're intentionally bringing our focus into our heart. And it helps to bring the focus into your heart by placing your hand there or some fingers there, some way that it's reminding you of the connection to your heart. So just take a few moments and just bring your total awareness, your total focus into your heart. And begin to slow your breathing down, not a lot so it's uncomfortable, but just slow your breathing down a little bit and imagine almost that your breath is coming from your heart. So it's almost like your heart is breathing and then you're inhaling and your heart is exhaling. So just as you have your hand there, just slow your breath down until it's a nice, comfortable rhythm. And this is an opportunity to make a choice in this moment, uh, which of the four emotions you want to bring in and you can um, do it another time with a different emotion. So one emotion you may invite in is appreciation. Could be appreciation for you, for someone else, for something. It might be the memory of gratitude for yourself, for someone else, for something. It could be caring, somebody you care for. It could be care for yourself, like this self-nurturing program that Shayla's leading. There's the, the caring for your uh, nurture. And it might be compassion for yourself, for someone else. For something. So you're aware of your breath. Your breath is slowed down. You're choosing an emotion. And when you have that emotion, we're elevating it, meaning we're exaggerating it, uh, the feeling we get from one of those emotions in our body. So whether it's appreciation, gratitude, caring, or compassion, allow that elevated emotion to become part of your body. And just breathing slowly with your heart. You noticing what's happening with your heart, with your body, as you're being with this elevated emotion. And we're just staying with the feeling, staying with the feeling. And we're going to stay here for a few minutes. And if for some reason you want to 
try one of the other feelings on. This is your process. You can do whatever you like. This is about you connecting with a feeling, connecting with your heart, keeping the heart brain coherence, the harmony, and bringing it fully into your felt sense. Staying with the feeling. Noticing everything you notice. Thank your body for participating. Just stay with the feeling. Appreciation, gratitude, caring, compassion. If you want to add another elevated emotion, this is your process. Feel free to do that. Imagining your breath coming from your heart. Exhale and you inhale all from your heart center. And as you're being with the, your heart, you may want to say it out loud or you may want to say it in your head. It's like you're connected to your heart. My heart, my heart, what do you need from me to be more self-nurturing? My heart, my heart, what do you need from me to be more self-nurturing? My heart, my heart, what message do you have for me? Stay with the feeling. Notice what you notice. Listen to your heart. You might have another question to ask your heart. Just begin by saying, my heart, my heart, and then ask your question. Just take a moment and thank yourself, thank your heart for participating fully with this process. And when you're ready, Take a couple more deep breaths through your heart. And when you're ready, 
gently open your eyes. Take your time. Wow. Yeah. Can I share? I'd love that. Yeah, I I really just heard let it be. Um, let it be. Um, I'm not going to try to assign any meaning to that yes. at the moment, but it did bring up the song for me. Yeah. The, so, so the feeling that I get when I hear that song, okay. um, yeah, that's sort of what, what's sitting here now in that area. It really sounds like full permission. Yeah. 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 I'll uh, I'll take that with me for sure. Even that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So will I now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I wanted to make space um, after this, but do you have anything to share with anything that came up for you or were you mostly in guiding mode? I was in guiding mode and um, I want to share a story that happened last week. Um, after I broke my neck last year, I see an osteopath every month. And my neck is great, my arm's great, I'm great, I'm all, I'm all good. And, <laughs> and I love going to my osteopaths. And so it's kind of like, you know, sometimes we're not sure why I'm there because there's not, she's, you know, there's always something to work on. But anyway, um, so I'm at the osteopath and I'm laying there and I am having, and I'll tell you what I'm doing. But before that, she's spending a lot of time on my chest and she's just spending a lot of time there. And I'm, I'm kind of interested, but I'm kind of zoned out because I am in a meditative mode. And she actually stops the session. And she said, she's been doing this for 30 years. She said, this, nothing like this has ever happened before ever. She said, it's like your heart center is dancing and there's a party going on and, and everything is good. And, and, and she started describing this experience that she was having by, by her going like this on my chest. <laughs> and she said, that's never, ever happened before. So I shared with her what I was doing, and this adds credence to what we have just done. Like this was not that I needed any proof, but here's some. So this is what I was doing. She was working on me, and I had my eyes closed, and I was doing heart-brain coherence, and I was practicing compassion, and I was practicing compassion for my daughter who is going through some health stuff. 
and is really tired and there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on in her life and we're really really close so I know all the time what it what's going on with her mm -hmm. and so this practice of compassion is and I learned this from Greg Braden actually so compassion I'm in compassion and I'm feeling empathy and compassion for Megan so I'm feeling that and I'm also practicing stepping back, mm -hmm. stepping back from, I don't have a judgment about mm -hmm. what she's doing uh, with this health issue. Mm -hmm. I have no intention to interfere. I have no intention to tell her what to do. It's a little late for that. Uh, <laughs> and, and I was practicing just being really open hearted for her possibilities. And I'm, and I'm going and I'm in this thing and I'm, and I'm just sending her love and possibilities. I'm not naming any because I don't, they're not mine. I, and I'm standing back from it and just allowing space for her to be with her own possibilities. At which point my osteopath just went, <laughs> she just <laughs> said, wow, this is brand new. So that speaks to my practice for the last five months, it speaks to what you've learned here today. It speaks to um, the energy that you go back out into the world with, you know, when you come from that place. Um, oh if you're going God. into a meeting, you're going into a call, you're going to meet somebody and you want to come, you want to come from this place, take three minutes, do this, and then, and then be with someone else in a very loving kindness kind of way mm. anyway i i love that story <laughs> yeah yeah she was really picking up on it yeah yeah and yeah i think when you were speaking i would i got this image of like a pebble in the water and how it just goes out and goes out yeah. and it makes me think of um, one of the things that kept coming to mind when I was dreaming up this um, retreat for people, this sort of online oasis for helping and teaching and business professionals, was that um, how we are um, and how we model this self-care really does have that uh, potential to move out into the world in a big way because as in this field, we touch so many lives yeah we just touch yeah. so many lives and when they're picking up uh what we're laying down you know in terms yeah. of modeling and self-nurturing yeah. and that then that you know it keeps going out like that then their families are picking it up and then it just has this beautiful potential um, for a more nurtured world and um I love that story because it really shows that someone else can feel it like, <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, yeah. That, that's just beautiful. And just that uh, touches on that so brilliantly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it has been such a pleasure. I am going to begin to wrap this up, but I know that um, people will likely have questions and I want everyone to know that, you know, you um, do have a website, you have some great materials, some great books um, and really uh, wonderful people that you've trained that are offering more training in body centered um, coaching. And I think that I can't speak enough about it. In fact, I waited years to be able to get in uh, by the luck of, you know, by the luck of the draw, I was able to, and by your generosity as well. Um, and yeah, I just will include all of that in the resource material um, of how to, how to sort of tap into that. And of course, you've mentioned some good, great names for people to also research um, more about this if they want to. Uh, with Joe Dispenza. Yeah, and, uh, so Dr. Joe Dispenza and Greg Braden. With right. Yeah. And, you know, if someone has a question, they can email me. Um, tomorrow I'm leaving to go to California, but I'll have my uh, trusty old laptop with me. So um, okay. if somebody wants to email me with a question, I'll happily answer. Uh -huh. I won't be doing it on Facebook or anywhere else because uh, yeah. I won't be going there, but they could email me. Okay. Want. 
And yeah, and also I will include links to people that are um, spreading your uh, methodology um, as well um, and what they have coming as well so that people can maybe sign up for your, um, your newsletter. Great, great. So I am so happy that you have been here with me today. My heart is really happy. <laughs> and I want to thank you really from the bottom of it, from the back of my heart. I've been learning a little about the well of my heart at the back. Yes. So um, I want to thank you from that place. And um, yeah, and just hope that I get to uh, speak with you again soon. Sounds great, Shayla. And thank you for the invitation and, and my opportunity to you know, share my excitement and new learning. I love that. So thank you. Great to be with you. Great. Okay. Have a good trip. Thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, Bye for now. now.